if we were to track backwards, so prior to the item being bought, there's obviously so many processes that go into making these clothes. So from the creation of the fibre, the dyeing of the fabric, and none of these processes are free from no. harm at all, are they? No, not at all. And something like 90% of the fibres that we wear actually um, are, come from the petrochemical. Uh, petrochemicals. So I, I would ask you now, and this is what I do quite often do, is uh, look at your label. So if you look at your label, kind of where is your clothing made? And so many people don't even look. So yeah, yeah let, let's, <laughs> let's just have a quick go. Does it even say on mine it's been worn that off? So mine is 100% cotton. So if it's 100% cotton, there's certain places in the world that grow cotton. So cotton tends to be grown in either America or China. So we've already got to think, okay, so... The, the, my little top has has, has done some travelling around. Mm. What's yours, my friend? Mine's a cotton. Okay, your your cotton too, I'm and cotton. Um, uh, and it says made in Bangladesh. Mine does. So if the cotton was grown in America, it's now got to be transported all the way to Bangladesh, where it's then made into thread and then it's made into uh, kind of swathes of cotton fabric and then it's dyed and then it goes to different factories where it's all kind of sewn together and then you've got this kind of nice little bit of embroidery. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, and, and then it has to be transported to our, our shops or our online warehouses or, you know, wherever and then it comes to us. And that... And that's got a massive impact, but actually the biggest impact on the environment is, isn't just that, it's also um, how, how we then care for it. So, you know, what, what, what are we doing to look after our clothing? We wash it an awful lot because lots of our clothing might have polyester or, as I say, these, ke- these petrochemicals in them. They produce microfibers. So um, about 30% of microfibers that are in our oceans actually come from washing our clothes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and people don't realise that. So there's all sorts of things that we can do to reduce the impact of our clothing. And, you know, that's what I always like to dwell on more is, yes, we've got all of this bad news going on, but actually let's look to the positive and what are the good things and what are the positive things that we can do. Um, and fast fashion is a really interesting one. So here at UE, we've been doing some research with young people about uh, their understandings of, of these kind of climate issues. And fast fashion came up as the um, the issue that people don't know enough about compared to things like um, carbon footprinting or recycling and things like that. And yet, as I said, it's got this massive um, kind of umbrella of doom over it. Um, so we're looking to see how can we provide education that uh, empowers and enables positive engagement and change through fast fashion. Mm-hmm.